Welcome to the Data Scientist Podcast with Dr. Stylianos Kabakis. Dr. Kabakis is a data scientist, statistician, and blockchain expert with a mission to educate the public about the wonderful capabilities of technologies like AI, data science, and DLTs. These technologies have the potential to transform the world, the economy, and our lives. However, there is too much misinformation around tech, and so most people are just confused about what is true and what is not. Whether you are a CEO, an entrepreneur, or just an enthusiast, the Data Scientist Podcast helps you separate reality from hype. Hi, everyone. As I'm speaking right now, the world is experiencing the biggest health crisis of the last 100 years. And I'm obviously talking about the coronavirus, COVID-19. And I think that given the current circumstances, you know, lives being lost, thousands of people being infected, given that this is a podcast about data science, I thought it would be fitting to make this an episode about what AI and data science can do in order to help fight against this epidemic. And not just against this epidemic, against any epidemic. Something that has become clear throughout this epidemic is that we need to use any tool at our disposal in order to fight this virus. Something that has also become pretty clear is that infections these days, they might be more dangerous than infections 100 or 200 years ago, because while we have many more tools and hospitals to treat infections compared to what we had in the past, now it's easier to move around the world, which means that if an infection shows up in one part of the world, then this can turn into a, an epidemic very fast in another part of the world. So while technology has, has made our lives easier on one hand, on the other hand, it might have also created some new risks. So that being said, what can AI do in order to help against this epidemic? So I'm very happy to see that uh, many organizations have taken some rapid measures in order to utilize AI against this crisis. So I think the biggest move so far has been done by the White House and the Allen Institute for AI. So a collaboration between these two entities has resulted in the release of a database of 29,000 research articles on the coronavirus families. And the hope, the goal behind this effort is that data scientists can use this data in order to extract information about coronavirus, how it spreads, and how we can better deal with it. So if you want to find more about this, simply Google Allen AI coronavirus. It's Allen, A-L-L-E-N, and you're going to find it. And also Kaggle, the famous machine learning competitions website, they have released a competition based on this data. So this competition is trying to answer 10 questions the first one is what is known about transmission, incubation, and environmental stability. Second one is what do we know about the risk factors behind this disease? And then the rest of the questions are around the virality, the genetics, the origin, the effectiveness of non-pharmaceutical interventions, and some other topics. And at the time of recording this podcast, there are around 120 kernels on Kaggle that analyze this data. So I hope we're going to see many more kernels in the near future. Again, we don't know how long this epidemic is going to last for, but it's very important that we get prepared. Every country prepares themselves as best as they can. And AI can be an additional tool in that. Some other great applications of data science in this epidemic have come from Chicago and Israel. So the medical home network in the Chicago area is an organization that basically it's a medical services organization and they used predictive modeling in order to discover which parts of the population seem to be most at risk in order to prioritize their response accordingly and something similar has come out of israel so the israeli health system they do not have a large number of tests which means they have to be very careful as to when and under what conditions they're going to use these tests so what they're currently trying to do is use machine learning in order to identify where clusters of the disease is going to appear. So they found out that this disease, COVID-19, seems to be spreading in clusters. So what they do is instead of using the expensive tests, 
they are simply asking people about their symptoms and then they crunch the data and given on the answers that the citizens have given then they infer the health system in israel infers whether there seems to be a cluster of infected people being activated in a particular region i mean that's a quite experimental approach but obviously it's very powerful because you replace expensive equipment expensive tests with a simple questionnaire that anyone can answer on a daily basis and that's really one of the key benefits of using ai and data science in order to fight an epidemic AI and data science can help reduce the stress on national healthcare systems and hospitals. That's very, very important because many hospitals in, in many countries worldwide, they're already close to a breaking point and a crisis like this can actually break them. Yeah, so some of the deaths might be not because of the virus, but because the systems, like the healthcare systems, are overloaded with patients with other diseases or problems. So the more we can do through technology to replace doctors with AI, to predict outbreaks, to save resources, improve efficiency, the more lives are going to be saved. And another application of AI and data science in healthcare, which I don't think it's being used right now for this crisis, but I think it's going to be very big in the near future, is the use of AI in order to create new vaccines. By crunching the data, we're now in a position to suggest to find molecules which might be effective vaccines against various diseases. So I know that one of the you know, holy grails of medicine is coming up with a vaccine which can immunize everyone against any kind of flu, right? So COVID-19 is a strain of flu, essentially, and they're like different kinds of different versions of the flu virus. So I wouldn't be surprised if some research institution or a big company or a government after this epidemic, they invest serious money in using AI to come up with some sort of universal vaccine, you know, for, for the flu virus. Apparently, there are some researchers in Australia, in a university called, in Australia's Flinders University, that have designed an AI which has created a drug entirely by itself. So, yeah, obviously, what I just was talking about around using AI to create vaccines, obviously, this applies for drugs as well. And we might actually see more of this technology being used in the future. So even if we can't come up with some kind of universal vaccine, you know, maybe it will become possible to come up with drug very fast through the use of AI. But in any case, I believe that data science and AI, they have a large role to play in epidemics of the future. And what we're currently witnessing right now is the first, basically it's the first big crisis, health crisis of the 20th, first century. But at the same time, it's the first crisis that takes place while we have very intelligent algorithms at our disposal. So I hope that we're going to be better prepared next time something like this comes around. And I also believe that AI will also have something to do with it. Yeah, AI will help us go through the next crisis, you know, more efficiently, more effectively. I would be very interested to hear about your opinion and if there are any entrepreneurs listening to this podcast, I'd also be very interested to hear about what you believe is the business potential of creating companies in this area, of using AI in order to create drugs, predict outbreaks, etc. So thank you for listening to this. I hope you found this informative and useful. Thank you and see you again soon. Thank you for listening. Make sure to visit thedatascientist.com for more content about data science, AI, and blockchain.